Welcome everybody, my name is Alan Keel with Fridger Tech International. Today we're going to be doing an install on a four ton unit that's about eight years old that's using R22 refrigerant. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off by lowering the thermostat 10 degrees. That way we can ensure that the compressor will stay running and it won't turn off on us while we're doing our installation. Got to make sure that those compressors are running. So, while we're inside, I've already dropped it down. This unit's already been running for about a good four to five minutes. Now, I want to go ahead and take my delta T readings. Again, a delta T reading is the temperature difference between the return and the supply air. So here, We've got an absolute minimum temperature so far of 71.3 degrees. Now I'm going to get the supply air. And here, what I've got is a temperature of right at 59 degrees. So, we've got a little bit of a delta T difference right now. So, what I want to do is now go outside to the unit and go ahead and inject the Frigitech so we can get this thing to become energy efficient and also assist on some of the preventative maintenance issues that have been going on. Okay, now we've moved outside this is our four ton R22 system that again is about eight years old. Just to speed up the process, I've gone ahead and removed the cover so that we could get to the electrical. And as you can see, I've hooked up our clamp on amp meter. And at this time, we're pulling about 11.36 amps. That's kind of typical for this type of system. So, what we're going to do. We've got our base amperage measurements. This unit's been running now for a little over five minutes, probably getting closer to 10 minutes now. Now we want to go ahead and install our Frigitech. So, I will take our Frigitech mineral oil blend. It's got the foil seal on top. We'll perforate that place the cap back on because we want to leave it open to the environment as little as possible. We've got our Ritchie Max Flow oil pump that again puts out almost four ounces per stroke. So we'll take this bottle, put it inside the oil pump, and now we just need to prime this hose to make sure we get all atmospheric air out of there. I like to go ahead and put the hose back in the bottle so that way we don't waste any product. And I can make sure that all air is purged out of this line. Okay, I've got a steady amount of Frigitech coming out with no bubbles. Now, we want to go ahead and install this on the low side service port. Again, the best way to remember which line you're going to install is the low side service port will always be the larger of the two. Now, this ground source kind of makes it a little tricky to get an even placement, so we'll just have to work around that. Gently draw up, and 
now we will begin to inject the Frigitec. This process with this Ritchie pump does not take a lot of strength, but you're still overcoming pressure. So just let your natural body weight kind of go through. There's no need to go fast on this job. And there we are. We have the Frigitech installed into this system. Now, we simply undo, attach the safety cap back on, make sure it's good and snug and tight. the Frigitech has been injected. When we come back in a few days, we'll check this amperage reading after this unit's been running for five to ten minutes and see how it correlates. As well, we'll go back inside and we'll double check to see what the Delta T readings and see what improvements we've achieved there. Thank you, and if you have any other suggestions for videos, please let us know. One other point to note. When I'm done with this, I'll take the refrigerant hose and put it back into the container so this way we don't lose the half ounce of Frigitech that's in the line. Now, once we've completed this step, what we want to do is if this bottle is not going to be used anytime soon, we want to purge it with some nitrogen. Typical HVAC installer should have dry nitrogen on his truck. It's very inexpensive, but when we do that, it protects this oil because it's very hydroscopic, protects it from getting any kind of moisture contamination in there. Thanks.